Today we're going to show some features of the Archive Facebook application that are designed to allow you to customize what you present in the profile box of the Archive application. This will be particularly useful for authors who don't have an author ID yet or have yet to author papers on archive.org. So here from the search page we see our uh, Facebook application so we just click on uh, the link here in order to be taken to our about page. The about page shows things like our fan list which we think you should be in here um, and also announcements and things like that. So to the application itself, uh, the important thing to know here is that this is author ID centric. Now an author ID is a unique identification that associates a archive author with the papers that they have authored. So uh, when you have an author ID and it's been associated with papers, all those papers will show up under the My Papers list automatically for you. Now this is the format of an accurate author ID, but it actually isn't. Um, and so we get this error. The other place that we can go ahead and add stuff is to the profile list. We haven't added anything there yet and we have to do that ourselves. So we do that primarily through the search. So we'll type in something like chemometrics, uh, my, my former love here, um, and this will return papers that are uh, on archives.org that, uh, that were searched successfully with chemometrics. So each of these papers has these little add this profile to profile box links. So if we click a couple of these, um, like this one here, this is a good one. Each of these will be added to that profile box. So if we go back up and choose the profile tab, what we'll do is we'll find those two papers that we added here. And this is essentially a preview of what you would be displayed on your profile page. So all of these are of course removable. Um, each of them have these little remove links. So if we click these, they'll just be taken out. Uh, and so now we just left with uh, one paper for now. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and add this to our profile. Facebook will give us a little preview here of what it will look like and ask us where we want to add it to. We'll put it on the wall for now. Now we're just being forwarded back to our profile where we can say that we really, really do want it. Looks the same, no abstract. So we say keep, great. The other thing to know about all applications if you don't already is that you can post them here or on the boxes tab. So for a little while here, we'll just use the boxes tab because we have a little more real estate. Uh, so we'll see, this is how we would send things back to the profile page, but for right now we want to go back to the application so that we can add a couple more papers to demonstrate a couple more capabilities of the application. So we'll return back to our search and we'll search for something. So let's search for Quasar, uh, which is something I search for all the time. Uh, this will come up with all of the hits on archive for Quasar. We want to add a couple of papers here, uh, this one. The next thing that you should know is that these are all links to archive.org so you can get the actual uh, PDFs or whatever other format these are stored in on archive at any time. So we'll go ahead and add this paper. And now we'll just search for something different here to, to show you something. So we'll search for Galaxy. Uh, and this will return all the papers, lots and lots of papers. The thing that you want to know also is that down in the bottom of this, these results are paginated. So you can go ahead and grab uh, as many results as you want, 15 at a time, uh, to save. So we just click one of these, add it to our profile list. Let's go back to our profile list and we'll see we now have four papers loaded. We can reorder these, um, just uh, simply as that, change the number, click the reorder items button, uh, and things will be reordered for you. This is all immediately reflected back on our profile. So if we return to our profile page, cruise over to the boxes tab, we'll see that those papers have been added and the order has been fixed. Great. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that we want to show you is the see all of this list feature. Um, and what this does is this shows the full information for all of those papers. It basically includes the abstract. Um, this is especially important uh, from the profile page where you have a really limited real estate. Um, so that's just a little dialogue that pops up so that you can look at other people's information. Now we'll just follow this modify your list link to go back to the application to show you a couple more search features. So this is an all search, so we can search for people. So we can search for uh, my colleague Simeon Warner, and this will return all of the hits uh, that uh, come from Simeon Warner. Now, there's, there's some interesting things here that are maybe a little bit tricky. So you can see these all are you know, authored by Simeon Warner, as we would expect. Uh, but eventually, as we scroll down, let's see, where's one? Here's a good one. So Simeon Zamkavi. Uh, so what we got is we got a hit against Simeon. The other thing that we'll notice is that we returned 400 hits. Um, and if we started pageanting through these, what we would see is we would see all sorts of hits on Simeon or Warner. So what we can do is we can just make this an and search, just like that, redo the search, 
And now we will only return things that have Simeon and Warner in them. Um, and this works great for an author search here uh, because Simeon Warner is a fairly uh, unique name. Uh, however, if we search for something simple, so if we were uh, looking for an author called um, about uh, Joe, Joe Smith, it's, it's as generic as we can get, um, what we'll see is that we will return all sorts of things. So here's the best example. We'll now return John Smith and Joe Wolf. Um, no Joe Smith. Uh, so the thing to know is that there is a little trick that Archive provides you, which is last name underscore first uh, initial of the name. This will now return uh, Joe Smith, John Smith, all those things. Um, so that this is a, a, an easier way to uh, search for authors if you were doing that. Uh, so at this point, we kind of got our uh, a little screencast of things you can do on archive.org. Uh, please come visit the application and please invite your friends. Thanks a lot.